from a black undercoat paint all of the armor panels with word bearers red. This will require probably two to three thin coats just to make sure I'm not obscuring any detail. Did all of the recesses with wildwood contrast. Uh, this contrast paint is very good at sitting in deep recesses, however it is quite a strong contrast paint, so avoid as best can spilling over onto the flat armoured panels. But if you do, just remember to clean them up with the word bearers red before continuing. Need all of the areas to be black and to be silver with Abaddon black as a base coat. This is the entirety of the gun, the shoulder pads with the trim, um, any of the areas that are going to be silver on the backpack, and the spacing between the armour plates, particularly at the back of the legs, and any of the kind of standout tubing and all that will end up being silver. Um, the reason I do this is the silver paint is going to sit better over a black base coat anyway, and it tidies up the model for the next steps. Paint all the areas to be silver with iron hand steel, so namely on the gun, on the shoulder pauldrons and on details on the backpack. Note that on the straps across the chest and the kind of vents I ended up painting it just as kind of the silver on the raised edges as opposed to the entirety as this gives a more defined contrast between the two colours than if you were to paint say all of the strap and then to wash them. Um, just using slightly less paint on the brush and approach it almost like dry brushing it should be fine. Shade all the larger silver areas with the null oil. As Word Bearer's Red is more of a kind of a terracotta colour than a true red, I found that using red paints to highlight gives a kind of a funny effect. So I ended up settling on a first highlight of Tuscor Fur. Um, this is painting all of the raised edges on the model, um, particularly around the face and around vents and the like, and any overspill just to be corrected with the Word Bearer's Red before continuing. As always, any of the sharp edges, you may get away with just using the edge of the brush to give a sharp line.
second fine red highlight then with Katie and Flesh Tone. Um, again, this color was picked because it seems to suit well with the Word Bearers Red and the Tusk or Fur. Um, even though it's labeled as a flesh paint, I suppose the point is it doesn't really matter what a paint is called. Just pick colors that seem to suit best for the, the scheme that you're going for. Um, in this example, it's really picking out the more sharper edges. and The majority of the edge highlight will remain the Tusk or Fur. Edge highlight the black areas with eschen grey. As an optional step, you can put a, not so much an edge highlight, but a thin line of the Eschen Grey at the edges of the shoulder pauldron. Um, it just makes the black more interesting, but it's not necessary and it'll look fine without. Pick out the sharpest corners using a Millistratum Grey. So really that's just the kind of the rivets on the gun and the, the corners and the sharpest edges on the black of the backpack and on the tubing between the armor. Edge highlight all of the silver areas using Stormhole Silver.
the eye lenses start with the base coat of Caliban Green. In this example, I found the area wasn't dark enough. I then shaded it with Null Oil. So you might be better off painting this entire area something like a bad and black first and then starting with the Caliban Green. Paint now the front half of the lens with Warpstone Glow. Paint the front quarter of the lens with Moot Green. Paint a tiny amount then of Flash Gets Yellow right at the front of the lens. Paint a dot of white scar at the back of the lens in the darkest part to complete the effect. As a final optional step, I went back to the armour and picked out just dot highlights on the very, very sharpest corners with Kislev flesh to complete this. And this is the end result. If you like this video, feel free to check out the channel for numerous other painting tutorials.